Glory to God and good morning again. Another beautiful day to know the love of God. And if you don't know the love of God, it's simple. God loves you. Just receive it. Go ahead and talk to him. Hallelujah. Through Jesus, his son, who made the way for you to come to him freely and openly. Amen. I have a pondering, a musing this morning that is out of 2 Corinthians chapter 11. I'll just start with verse 1, where Paul said, I would to God you could bear with me a little in my folly. Indeed, bear with me. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I fear, lest somehow... As the serpent deceived Eve through his trickery, so your minds, says your minds, your thinking, might be led astray from the simplicity that is in Christ. For if he who comes preaches another Jesus whom we have not preached, or if you received another spirit which you have not received, or another gospel which you have not accepted, you might submit to it readily enough. So in verse 3 he says, He's concerned that somehow, just like the serpent deceived Eve, so you might be deceived from the simplicity that is in Christ. Now that word, simplicity, when I looked it up, it's basically meant singleness or sincerity or simplicity. So Christ, there is one Jesus, one Lord, one way. That's simple. The simplicity. He doesn't make it complex, meaning you have multiple ways or multiple things you need to receive. And when the serpent came to deceive Eve, I make sure I don't mix my words up there. Serpent came to deceive Eve. He came basically saying, well, God said it one way, but he really meant multiple ways. There is more to meet the eye in what God says. He didn't have a single intent for you. He was not sincere in what he said. There was complex things. I've heard it said before that when things are confusing, when you just keep saying, I'm just, I'm just so confused, you know, you, you've been told what to do, but you just seem so confused. It's because you are not doing what you're supposed to be doing. We're talking about the things of the kingdom of God. A lot of times, our natural carnal nature will try to confuse things when we want to be disobedient. Just like a little kid who thinks your instructions are really confusing when you told them to clean their room. And they didn't want to do it, so they didn't do it. Now they're in trouble. Suddenly things get confusing. Well, God is not in confusion. Now we could obviously take this to the nth degree. I think there's a scripture in Proverbs that says all things are simple to him who has understanding. Well, it's true. You know, you could always say that things are really easy and really simple when you understand them, when in reality to others, they're very complex. But the truth is the things of God are simple. God is simple and he comes to you very straightforward. There is great depth to him, but he doesn't try to make things complex. When he says, do this, just go ahead and do it. When he says, this is bad, then it's bad. You go straight forward and receive the simplicity that is in Christ. And when you have decisions to make, the first decision is, what is God saying? That's all you got to do is listen and go straight forward in that simple answer. Amen. Simplicity. Simplicity.